Hi, I'm Tom Peters. If there is one reality that every company has to face today, it's competition. Most of the time, these challenges force companies to develop new products or services. What happens when the competition forces you to reimagine your entire corporate identity? We're in a category called general entertainment. And boy, when you're general, you're nothing. TNT was founded in 1988 by Ted Turner. Hello, and welcome to TNT. Its goal was to provide general entertainment to TV viewers and to compete with CBS, ABC, and NBC. By 2000, however, everything had changed. Steve, several years ago, I think he made this up, but it's an ancient Chinese proverb that he likes to quote, that if you tell somebody something, they'll forget. If you show somebody something, they might remember. But if you involve them, they will understand. What I believe the best way to communicate something is to live it. So we created opportunities for the employees to live drama. He said if you live the brand and think about it, not just while you're at work, but while you're outside of the office, the more you think about it, the more it'll flow into all the work that you do. So we created this internal contest in our department, which was take drama and break it down into its different attributes. And while there are many attributes for drama, we focused on crying, laughing, flying, family, eating, suspense, and all these things can be very dramatic. TNT has shown that change can involve an entire corporate culture and brand. Here's what you can do to put these ideas to work in your organization. First, accept change. At TNT, the cable environment had changed radically. When TNT was born in 1988, maybe three, five, seven cable channels to compete with. And by the year 2000, you had anywhere from 60, 70 to 100, depending on what cable system you're living with. When you talk to consumers um, and you would you know, just hear them talk about what they loved on television and what they looked to networks to deliver for them, uh, there was a, an increasingly fuzzy vision about what TNT was going to offer them. TNT risked losing significant market share, maybe even being shut down. They chose to act before things got bad. They knew they had to change, and they took the challenge head on. Second, remember that actions have meaning. When Steve Coonan canceled World Championship Wrestling, he made an important business decision, sure. But more important, he sent a crystal clear message to every employee.